Go take two. What is this like? Is this take two or take like four on our podcast? It's take 100. I don't know. We've been trying to do this for years. COVID-19 came and smacked us all in our behinds. Well, first of all, let's say thank you to God that we are healthy and here and able to you know continue because this shit has been crazy. You know what? You're so, so right. I um, Every time someone asks me, like, how, how are you doing? How are you yeah. doing up? I'm like, honestly, I have my health and I have my yeah. job. Yeah. And that is more than anybody can ask for in this time. Yeah. Every time someone's like, how are you guys? I'm like, we are healthy and happy and that's all that I can ask for. Yeah, I feel <laughs> that's bad. That's it. Um, yeah, a lot of it's hard times. With us. Yeah, it's hard times for sure. What are you serving for quarantine podcast episode one, all dressed up with nowhere to go? Oh, okay, Ash. Well, first of all, I'm serving Pete Blake on my lap. Ooh. That's what you have to do. I'm serving up uh, A and Style biker short set. Oh, have you, have you been working out in the quarantine? Oh, that cool. is another thing I've been doing in the quarantine. I've been working out, Ash. I have started running. I call it running. Some people will call it jogging. I don't really care. But um, some people call it going for a walk. <laughs> no, 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 no. I definitely <laughs> am going like this at some point. <laughs> um, I realized that that's the only place that my children wouldn't follow me. So I decided that I would start running. Because when I say mommy's going on a run, no one wants to come with me. But pretty much anything else I do, someone wants to come. That's... That meme where like moms say they can't pee or poop in peace is a dead, serious, real child thing. When you have a child, they don't care. You can't even poop in peace. They're there. Is it run a little, then walk a little, then run a little, walk a little? No, I have it down to where I can run for two miles straight. Without stopping? Yes. That's so good. So I know, so I feel good. I started the quarantine just trying to do one mile, and then I started increasing it, and now I can do two, and I feel good about that. Okay, so what is your average split pace? Oh, uh, so you know what? The other day you really shamed me because you were like, oh, these people on Instagram, no, but look, they're running it in like 13 minutes. <laughs> I was like, hmm, that's definitely where I started. Now, so my fastest mile is at like 10 minutes. I'm not sprinting, but I'm a little bit better than your average Instagram runner. Yeah, so listen, at, I'm not trying to shame anyone, but I'm just saying, like, some girls will put up, like, oh, ran five miles today, but then on the time, it's, like, took them an hour and 20 minutes. It's, like, you didn't right. run anywhere. You, you didn't run. five miles today is what you did, okay? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what. I don't know who <laughs> told you what running was. No, that's why, because that's why sometimes I don't really like to call what I'm doing running. I think it's jogging. Jogging, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I, I'm fine with. I haven't gotten back into jogging. Um, but what have you been doing? So we heard a little bit about what quarantine life is like for a mother. Now tell uh, me what the yeah, ever... The weight lo lo loss tip of things. Oh. Uh, I, um, okay, so I've spent the first three weeks of quarantine saving, like, every at-home workout possible on Instagram. Right. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 What's yeah. What's the chair? Do you need yeah. to put the laundry? <laughs> the laundry detergent. <laughs> right? Like, I literally <laughs> saved every possible home workout mm -hmm. um, from Instagram because I struggle with home workouts, right? Right. Um, and then I realized outdoor is a thing that I need more of, and I love to roll yes. blade, so I've been heavy on the roller yes. blade. Yes. You're such a good roller blade blader. you're at home with somebody you require to keep it up a little bit more than I am so like you're not Why listen you? we've been together for a long time I've had two children he's seen me at my very worst so this quarantine is it doesn't compare 
I, I, I'm doing lots. My skincare routine is on fire. My skin is looking great. Okay. My hair is healthy, but just in a bun. But yeah, my nails are fucked up and that's just what you're going to have to deal with. Well, okay. So you're single. Yeah. Have a lot of got like, what's this quarantine dating scene like? Like, I've got to know, like, what is going down? So I, I need like, to know about it. <laughs> it wasn't until like I got like maybe two weeks ago in quarantine that I realized that I was really single. Right? Like, two weeks, you said? <laughs> two weeks ago that I realized. Oh, okay. So you, you lasted a while. Yeah. I knew I was single, but like right. now on month three, you're like, oh, I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> in the beginning it's like oh i haven't had sex in six weeks yeah like, oh, uh, and it's like wait <laughs> when does this end ending when is this ending? yeah so and, like are guys like reaching out like are like what's happening so there's like the handful of guys that are not totally taking the quarantine totally serious yes and why they, are men like that i don't know and they think that like okay. you get on an airplane and like go visit them or whatever and it's just kind of <laughs> Sure, I'll possibly kill myself to sleep with you. Just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> because like, guess what? And then once you land with. here, you cannot come to me. Like, you've got all the germs. Like, you've got a quarantine for two weeks now. Um, yes. But then the other part was, is that I feel like at the beginning of single quarantine, men mm -hmm. were like all into like having FaceTime conversations and chatting and, you know, like, getting yeah. to know you because i think it was actually new for them as well yeah. you know yeah. um but i think that they're over it now they're playing call of duty they're on the game they're yeah they're like i i yeah this is not getting better anytime soon let me just chill out this whole getting to know you thing is mm -mm. Cute or whatever but but i will say that the um not having any physical activity yeah is interesting yeah. And you feel like a born again virgin? I do. <gasps> I like That's it. great. I like that. And it's not like I'm a whore out here having lots of sex no. or anything like that. But like yeah. the idea that like you're not even like hugging, cuddling, kissing, like no anything. physical contact at all. You're getting lots of physical contact, huh? Um, yeah. <laughs> What? Why did you roll your eyes? Like you that? know what? Honestly, for me, because I've heard some women say, like, oh, my husband, he wants to do it every day. Like, we're doing it three times a day. I'm a sex slave. I don't feel that way. I feel like ours continued, you know, like, pattern. In the pattern prior to quarantine, it's all pretty much the same. So I don't feel like anyone's sex slave. I feel like I get space and then I also get some. So um, I <laughs> feel like I've also discovered in my singleness, um, single quarantine life, that um, I can't cook. I'm, I am not afraid to admit it anymore. I'm just going to be the one to say it. I'm not the girl. I can't cook. I can't do it. No, have do you follow any of these girls yes. that make you live have these Insta stories that make it look like it's like, Throw in the diced tomatoes, throw in this, and shut it all up. Yeah. I can't do it. No, there's like, some people can really cook. And that is something that I've learned in quarantine. I agree. Like, for me, like, I can cook, but I'm not like a cook. Like, I'm not like, you know, like putting together these great meals. Like, can mine's you, pretty basic. I've got recipe? my basics down. You know you what I mean? Follow saying? a recipe. I can follow a recipe, yes, but like my mind isn't like buzzing with all these things that I want to cook and stuff. Like that's not me. Like I know how to cook some stuff, and like so for me, like it's been monotonous. Like I only I have like my core meals that I can cook, and then all this other stuff. But the good thing is Deshawn can cook real good. Yeah, you're. And he one. actually likes to cook. Yeah, it's like an so. activity for him. What's in your? Give me your starting five. Quarantine meals. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I can do like a really good like grilled salmon. Okay. 
and then like, like an apricot glaze sandwich. no that's what i'm saying like these girls have glaze and i'm glazed and like garnishes <laughs> and stuff like, like no 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 yeah. like mine is like rice chicken yeah. here you go salmon rice asparagus here you go like i might be able to make some potatoes a great salad here you go like I mean, like, I'm like, you know what I mean? It's like, I know how to cook chicken a couple of ways. I can fry chicken and I can kind of grill chicken. Like, and I have like this fry. little like <laughs> grilled chicken that I do really well. So like, that's that, you know what I mean? I don't have like 20 ways to grill chicken with special sauces and fruits cut up with it and all. I'm like, oh, that's stressful. I defrosted the whole chicken, broke it down into pieces. And then I went into my pantry and I found the makings of a barbecue sauce. Like honestly for lunch, it's like I might make you a turkey sandwich. I could do yeah. a turkey sandwich. That's easy. I can make a grilled cheese. And then also my kids love the little like frozen like pizza bagels, um, pizza <laughs> bites. Good, great. That's what you want. Perfect. And here's a cut up cucumber. Here you go. You got your stuff. That's my life. But also like, this is how I was raised and I turned out okay. You know what I mean? Like my mom was in a chef, like Girl, she did other did things good. Did you ever have a TV dinner back in the day? Huh? Did you ever have yes. a TV dinner back in the day? What? <laughs> All the TV dinners, what? And they had the kids ones, remember the kids ones? It was that, blue, like, like kids cuisine. Yes, kids cuisine, I ate those. And they had like a brownie or whatever. Oh girl ate it no you know what i mean like we yeah that we, was my I life i swear to god if someone came into your house right now and saw that you were feeding your kids kids cuisine tv dinners the judgment oh the judgment it, they would no moms are out here full blown i have friends who have like the i have you seen those special lunch boxes for kids no i have a few friends that are like that mom that like to cook and like to make breakfast and like to pack these elaborate lunches. Yeah. I can't do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's funny though that you realize that you can't cook. I like that. I can't, and I and I mean like I can't follow instructions. I can't. Yeah. I, I literally, I can't judge heat temperatures. I can't think. Yeah. The scene, it needs a little moisture, so add water or milk. Yeah. I'm out of it, but you know what? Yeah. You just need to either marry a man that can cook. Yeah. Or be successful enough. Or marry a man. Yeah. Or you know you're gonna be successful enough that you have a chef. That's what I hope. I put that upon you, my friend. That's what I hope. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like before we wrap up this episode, we're going to keep it nice and yeah. straight to the point. Let's do our quarantine questions. Oh, okay. Ready? The music. Have, have quarantine, the, yeah. quarantine question music right here. Hey. <laughs> quarantine. Quarantine. Quarantine question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your razor is on its last day. You can only shave one area, your legs, your armpits, or your feminine area. Where do you use it? I mean, I have so many questions about this question. Nope, one sad Is it like a full bush? Is there just like... <laughs> You can save one area. What is it? Your armpits, your legs, or your vagine? Honestly, this is really tough. Okay, I think I'm going to shave my... <laughs> I think my armpit. Really? Like, like, well, I have laser hair removal. You have I don't even remember. <laughs> I know, but that's the thing. I can't remember having a hairy vagina. I think it was awful, but I don't remember. But having hairy armpits, it's like there's zero escaping that. All right, go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. 
quarantine question, whatever the thing is, do it. Okay. Quarantine, quarantine, um, quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. <laughs> okay. Have you, during this quarantine, Ash, have you had virtual sex? No. In this <gasps> quarantine, I have not had any virtual sex. Ash, you're totally celibate. I'm totally, I'm like super single, but I'm also like the girl that like, that's not, doesn't turn me on. Yeah. That's like, yeah. I get a I get that. Me like, like dick pics or like. Yeah. Like I don't sex. Come get this. We're grown. Okay. So it's question time. So I'm going to go first. All right. Okay. Go. So question number one for Ashley W. Is. For Ask Ashley. <laughs> um that's funny um is what's your favorite date that you've ever been on oh my favorite date that i've ever been on dude is it messed up that like my favorite date ever of all times is not one that i've been on but my home girl went on bruh <laughs> no, I actually, you know, that is you in its truest form. So, no, I would love to hear about that. I'm just saying, like, my best date. Um, it could be oh. best for various reasons. Oh. oh. Okay. My best date was the first date that I ended up getting those two Chanel bags. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Oh, solid yeah. date. First That's a story. You should share that. We brought two Chanel bags to our first date. And we will refer you to her blog for this one. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna write a blog on him later, so 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 like we'll get back to that one. But yes, yeah, we'll save yeah. that story. This guy who set up a dinner date with me and said he was bringing me a gift and brought me two Chanel bags, like drop like twelve to fifteen G. Easy. And this is what he brought to the first date. So you haven't even had your a date yet. Imagine that. Yeah. Imagine oh. that, Ash. You're doing something right over there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, my first question for you is, uh, what is something that I, that I do that drives you nuts? Something that you do that drives me nuts? Yeah. Um... That's really a hard question. I know, I'm pretty perfect. I don't want to say this because that would be annoying to say, but like, I nothing you do really drives me nuts because honestly, if you did something that drives me nuts, I don't think that we would be able to be as close as we were. Yeah, that's true. It's not like in a relationship, there might be other yeah. parts two together. In right. Voice. Yeah, this is a choice. Like, friendship, I could walk away if you were that annoying to me. <laughs> be like, this bitch is always biting her nails. I don't want to be your friend anymore. <laughs> Speaking of nails, um, no, yeah. quarantine fixes yet? Girl, so I'm going to tell you right now, I did go and get a manicure. What? Yep, I went to the shop. It was just me and the lady. Dallas. And my friend and another lady. <laughs> and but the, the lady, the techs, the nail techs are my friend's friends. So we had kind of got the lowdown. They hadn't had anyone in, like whatever, right? So, um, well, uh, I think we just lost Ashley, and more than likely her phone died, because it always dies. You would think that when we were getting ready to record a podcast, she might make sure she has battery, but that's okay. <laughs> so
So I guess this is the end of questions for this week, but we will be back. Here she is. Hold on. Let me get her. Oh. Ah. Look who's back. Girl, you know I phoned down. <laughs> Um, while your phone was dead, I came to an epiphany, and I don't know how much of my last answer you heard, but basically I was saying that nothing about you really drove me crazy, and, and I had an epiphany while you were off the phone, and I realized that. What drives me most crazy about you is that your phone dies all the fucking time, and it's stupid, because we are grown women who should keep their phones charged. Thank you, good day. <gasps> Oh, I swear to God, one day I'm gonna grow up. One day I'm gonna get a grow mobile up. charger or something. If you understand. I know you have all the things. You have them. You just don't use them. Ash, I have at least six mobile chargers. I have phone chargers in my living room, in my bathroom, mm -hmm. in my bedroom, mm -hmm. on the balcony. I have chargers everywhere. I will literally sleep in my bed all night with my phone next to me and the charger plugged in the walnut connected to my phone Listen. it's the craziest thing I it charge, drives me I, crazy i charge it because i knew we were recording and i just i don't know my bad so is your battery uh, fried like what's really going on i don't know i need a new phone i'm gonna drop that cash app send me send me some coins for a new sprinkle. phone sprinkle it i just kidding okay um, Let's finish these questions off, though. I don't want to... Okay, well, it was your turn. I'm basically oh, done. Oh, now, oh, you know what drives me crazy is that your phone dies all the time. Boom. All right, my turn, my turn. Okay. Oh, no, so that's your question now. I asked you that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Duh! Okay. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how scared would you be... If you started dating a guy and he asked to go through your phone on a scale of one to ten, like, how scared? Like right now, presently, like if I just, you know, was seeing a guy and we decided to like make it official, yeah. like, hey, can I go through your phone? Right yeah. now. Like before we just make this official, like, let's just open all the doors. Let me go through your phone. How scared are you? Uh... Okay, this one's hard. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. If I was dating him and into him, I think my phone might look different than it looks like right now today. Right now. Okay, so you're dating a few guys right now casually. Damn! Yes? I'm like hella single, but I do have but, a lot of male friendships. Okay, so let's say one of these friendships, like, overnight, like, he confesses love for you, like, oh, my God, I love you. I think you're my wife. But let me see your phone. How scared are you? Um, I would have to say I'm definitely, it's up there, like, an 8.5. <laughs> Wrong, 8.75. Right. Like, what are you most afraid of? Like, your relate your conversations with other men or, like, your conversations with your girlfriends or, like... Because there's two levels to being afraid. Like, one is, like, I'm being a hoe, and one is, like, I just say the most ridiculous things and talk about shit with my friends, and that's embarrassing. No, there's other levels, too. You don't gotta just be a oh, hoe. Oh, okay. No, nigga, cause it's level to the shit. Oh, no, nigga, cause it's level to the shit. <laughs> so um i feel like i'd be scared of a couple things number one i would never want a man to see my dms with my friends like the things we send each other back yeah. and forth Talking all that. that would be my fear that would be one fear the second fear is that like i really do have a lot of male friends um who i don't have relations with but mm -hmm. like um how often we talk and how like yeah. the million with each other I think could be read other ways and so I don't want I wouldn't right. want to do that and then I don't wouldn't want any man to see like all my failed selfie attempts because you know like a selfie takes 40 tries before you get one good one <laughs>
Like he starts throwing through your pictures and just sees like a hundred selfies from the other day. Ash, straight up, let me tell you something. I wrote a blog about this. It was like, what if a man wanted to go through your cell phone prior to your first date? And I yeah. was like, that's so true. Going through your, think of like all the like front facing, like accidental pictures and like. Yeah, oh. no, there's several levels of embarrassment in anyone's phone because it's like your personal, like database that like has all your shit in it. For sure. That's funny. Okay. So you're but, a, like a strong eight. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 8.5, 8.75. Okay, so we're almost to a nine, but not quite a 10. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. The next question for you is, in your household, do you consider yourself like the bad cop or the good cop? So... I think there's a little bit of... No, I'm the good cop because my go-to line is, do you want me to call your dad? <laughs> like, that's all I have to say. So that kind of lets you know that I'm obviously the good cop and he's the bad cop. Because yeah. I'll be like, I'll call your dad. I will call him right. You want to, me to call your dad? Okay. You don't think he do used that as a threat? I'll call your mom. That's not a threat. <laughs> I don't think that's a threat on his end. Yeah, at all. But at all. no, not at all. But I go hard on my kids still. Like, I'm not a pushover, but they will push me to the point where I'd be like, okay, I'll call your dad, which lets you know that I'm the good cop who you can push around and he's the bad cop. Your turn. Okay. So. I think I like have kind of a good idea of your answer to this question, but what do you hate most about the way I drive? Ash, you have one of the most real pieces of road rage that I've ever seen. Holy fuck! <laughs> Hey, sir, calm down, all right? Don't fucking tell me to calm down, bitch! In a human being, you actually don't ever one time get on the road where you don't yell at somebody, call them stupid, honk your horn at them. You are an actual, like... Road ranger. You hate these people on the road. Okay. okay. All right. So... Uh, my last question for you before we wrap this thing up. Mm -hmm. On a scale one to ten, how messy are you to live with? Like, I don't want to know like how you like. I know how you keep your house and your home. I mean, like, how messy are you to live with with your spouse? Toothpaste on the sink, inside of the sink, toilet seats, showers. Um, clothes in the, on the in the bedroom like on a scale of one to ten as it as a partner how messy are you inside your home so i'm gonna give myself like a five set a five i guess the there's five aspects not not bad but not good like you're just there yeah i'm just there all right ash i love you so much <gasps> you um, love you so, mwah, mwah, mwah.